Hey guys, I'm going to be bringing you a little series here. It's going to be called the WWDID series or the What Would Dan Infault Do series. And it's just going to be a little playlist titled What Would Dan Infault Do with a bunch of different shorts and or longer clips describing what Dan would do given some questions that I or some other beast guys have given him. These might include things that have arised in scout workshop, workshops where they've asked him questions. This might be things that he's been asked online. This might be things that he's been asked just in person. And you're gonna get a perspective on what the Big Buck serial killer would tell you to do in certain situations. Now I might talk to Dan and see if he can do this for some questions that you guys have. So if you want, drop some questions in the comments of each of these shorts. I'll see if I can get a video next time I'm with Dan asking him some of these questions and getting the answers for you guys online. For instance, some of the ones we have coming up. Find these staging areas typically thinking that these bucks are right to that side where they go to eat or they go to bed. So what type of wind are you looking for if you hunt here? Then you do get winded by a two and a half, three and a half year old buck. How long will that bug know there's like a human presence in that area? If I was going to put a camera here, I'd put it right here in the hunting area. So these will be kind of good to come back and maybe revisit this series when you're in season asking yourself some questions or when you're doing your scouting sessions. It might be good to come back to this playlist and just view some of these little shorts. And I think they'll give you a lot of good answers to some questions that you may or may not have even been wondering about that I think will give you some tips to make yourself successful in this upcoming season. Hope you guys enjoy.